war. War never changes. Since the dawn of humankind, when our ancestors first discovered the killing power of rock and bone, blood has been spilled in the name of everything from God to justice to simple psychotic rage. In the year 2077, after millennia of armed conflict, the destructive nature of man could sustain itself no longer. The world was plunged into an abyss of nuclear fire and radiation. But it was not, as some had predicted, the end of the world. Instead, the apocalypse was simply the prologue to another bloody chapter of human history. For man had succeeded in destroying the world, but war, war never changes. In the early days, thousands were spared the horrors of the Holocaust by taking refuge in enormous underground shelters known as vaults. But when they emerged, they had only the hell of the wastes to greet them. All except those in Vault 101. For on that fateful day, when fire rained from the sky, the giant steel door of Vault 101 slid closed and never reopened. It was here you were born. It is here you will die. Because in Vault 101, no one ever enters, and no one ever leaves. got a son, Catherine. A beautiful, healthy baby boy. Oh. Oh, James. We did it. A son. A beautiful son. You've got a bright future ahead of you, son. I'm sure of it. Look at you. Look at you. Hi there. I'm your daddy, little guy. Daddy. You're going to need a name, aren't you? Your mother and I have been talking. What do you think about... That's a good name, don't you think? Fits you perfectly. Looks like they've finished the gene projection. Let's see what you'll look like when you're all grown up. You're going to look a lot like your dad. See that, Catherine? Oh, oh, very strapping. <laughs> it's a big world out there, son, full of all sorts of people. What about you? What kind of person are you going to be? J You're James? just a... Catherine? James. Catherine! She's in Something's... cardiac arrest. Start compression. Things... Get the baby out of here. Move, move! One, one thousand. Two, one thousand. Come on. Hang on, Catherine. Hang on. Okay? Doctor, you one we need a doctor, not a dead one. Fail to meet my expectations. Now and there will look be straight into the light now. James and his cheerly chair. Decorations. May your future be bright and glorious. This place will feel just like Come on over here, son. Come on. Walk to daddy. There you go. My goodness. Just a year old and already walking like a pro. Your mother would have been so proud. Listen, kiddo, I know you don't like it when Daddy leaves you alone, but I need you to take care of yourself for a minute. You just stay here while Daddy runs to his office. You'll be okay, pal. I'll be back in a bit.
<laughs> you are quite the little explorer, aren't you? Serves me right for trying to pin you in. Come on over here. I want to show you something. See that? It was your mother's favorite passage. It's from the Bible. Revelation 21.6 I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. She always loved that. All right, come on. Let's go see if your little friend Amada wants to play. Experiment to prepare. To prepare to survive. Surprise! Sandy, you turned the lights on too fast. You blinded the poor kid. Happy, Happy birthday! birthday. Happy birthday. Can you believe it? He is growing up so fast. Happy birthday, pal. I can't believe you're already ten. I'm so proud of you. If only you're. Congratulations, mother. young man. I don't have to tell you how special this day is, do I? Down here in Vault 101, when you turn 10, well, you're ready to take on your first official Vault responsibilities. So here you are. As Overseer, I hereby present to you your very own Pip-Boy 3000. Get used to it. You'll be getting your first work assignment tomorrow. <laughs> Enjoy your party. You're only 10 once, so have fun. Happy birthday! We really surprised you, didn't we? <laughs> Your dad was afraid you were on to us. But I told him not to worry. You're so easy to fool. You're welcome. But really, your dad did most of it. I just helped with the decorations and stuff. Hey, I bet you can't guess what I got you for your birthday. Go on, guess. Ha! I knew I'd surprise you. Who's your favorite barbarian? That's right, Grognak, issue 14, and with no missing pages. I found this in a box of my father's old things, believe it or not. Imagine him reading comic books. I guess everybody was ten once. Well, I better let you get back to mingling with your guests. We'll talk later, okay? Happy birthday. Oh man, you got a pit boy. Hey, uh, thanks for inviting me. Really cool party and everything. I know that, uh... Butch and I give you a hard time, but you don't take that seriously, right? Anyway, uh, happy birthday and everything. I better get back to, you know. What, are you two best friends now? Happy hey, birthday, whoa. Sonny. I think Paul's gone soft on us. Yeah, I hope you appreciate the effort Amata put into this party. She really seems to like you, for some reason. I do not allow the fact that Amata is my daughter to compromise my position as overseer. I gave her all the appropriate paternal encouragement, of course, but I could not contribute extra vault resources. That is simply what my position requires. No more, no less. I know Amata understands that perfectly well. Oh, what are, you are you having a nice party? Ten years old. My, my, my. Seems like only yesterday that your daddy came. Goodness, listen to me ramble. You're waiting for your present, aren't you? Such a nice, polite young man you are. Don't ever lose your gift to speaking your mind so directly. We could use more of that down here. Here you go. A nice sweet roll that I baked for you just this morning. And it's all for you. You're the birthday boy. No sharing required today. Yes, your new best friend. Who do you mean? Dorkface here? Andy, happy birthday, How's it going, pal? <laughs> Having a good time? It wasn't easy keeping this a secret. Now go on. I'm sure everyone else would like a chance to talk to them. How do you like that Pip-Boy, son? Fit all right and everything? As a matter of fact, I did. I'm glad you like it. Some may think the A-Series a bit basic, but I've always preferred them for their reliability. Don't mention it. Oh, yes, I almost forgot. Happy birthday! Not much, but I hope you like it. The birthday oh, boy. no. I am mortified about the cake in his hand. Simply mortified. I'm 
hungry, and that stupid robot destroyed the cake. Give me that sweet roll you got from old lady Palmer. Mrs. Palmer said I didn't have to share. Who's talking about sharing, moron? I want the whole thing. Now are you gonna give me that sweet roll, or am I gonna have to give you a knuckle sandwich? Gah, I don't want your nerd cooties. You're gonna be sorry you did that. We'll see how tough you are later when the grown-ups aren't around. But she's such an idiot. Just ignore him. That jerk! I can't believe he tried to ruin your birthday party. Oh well. This is Butch we're talking about, right? I guess we should have expected it. Uh-oh. Your dad is giving me a look. I guess I'd better give everyone else a chance to talk to you. Come on, Wally. You always have good ideas. This party's pretty good, I guess. For a little kid. Balloons. Party hats. Not as cool as my party, though. Remember how my dad got Andy to do magic tricks? And we all played Hunt the Mutant in the atrium? Oh, right. You weren't invited to my party. Too bad, man. It was really fun. Yeah, I got one. The Mackers. Things are super coming, cool, Sammy. right? I know you were busy with Molly. the water. Listen, the once you have finished, Jonas. Hey, Doc. Oh, sure. Don't well, worry about me and Andy got her all fixed up again hey, last night. Good I'll send him right down. Hey, that was Jonas on the intercom. He and I have been cooking up a little surprise present. Jonas is waiting for you downstairs on the reactor level. Go ahead. I don't think anyone will mind if you slip out for a few minutes. Enjoying yourself? You can fix anything, right? Anyway, Are you having a I'm nice glad time? you can make it. Happy birthday, dearie. My goodness, I hope I didn't miss the party. They sure did. My, my. Ten years old already? Why, I can remember helping your dad change your diapers. And now look at you, a great big grown-up ten-year-old with your very own Pip-Boy. Since this was such a special occasion, do you know what I did? I wrote you a poem, just for you. I hope you like it. Of course. Run along now, dearie, and have yourself a wonderful birthday. Come on, you guys can do better than that. What are you doing down here, young man? I thought kids weren't allowed down on the reactor level. <laughs> you sure are. Pip-Boy and everything. Look at that. If you can wait just one more minute, I think your dad will want to give you the surprise himself. Are you ready for your surprise? The Overseer gave you your Pip-Boy, and you're old enough to do some work, so I figure you're old enough for this. Your own BB gun. It's a little old, but it should work perfectly. Jonas found it down here. It was in pretty rough shape. It took us a good three months to find the parts to get it working again. You know how tough it is to find a spring that small? Good thing Butch misplaced that switchblade of his. <laughs> so, what do you think? Want to give it a try? Easy now. It's only a BB gun, but it's not a toy. Let's go try it out. Jonas and I have found a nice spot for you. Follow me. Well, what do you think? You can come down here and shoot anytime you want. 
couldn't have done it without Jonas's help. You make sure to thank him. Careful, it's a rad roach. Think you can take care of that with your BB gun? Just aim and shoot. You'll be fine. Good work. That's one less round roach to deal with. Let's get a picture together. Capture the moment. Hey, Jonas, get a picture of me with the big game hunter. Smile. Boys and girls have different parts. What is your problem anyway? So I'm the overseer's daughter, so what? That like I get any right. kind of special Tell me. treatment. Revelation 21.6. I am Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end. As far as I can tell, you're a perfectly healthy 16-year-old boy. So yes, you have to go to class to take your GOAT exam. Go on now. You've got a GOAT to take. Hey, it's not my call. Those are the rules. You're 16 now, so this year you take the goat. Come on, it's not so bad. Everyone has to take it. You'll do just fine. Take care, son. I got out of here, and good luck. Good morning. Stopped in to see the old man before class, eh? Hey, 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 sport. It's been a while since you stopped in here to see us. It's the big goat day today, right? Morning, Jonas. Morning, Doc. <coughs> How's things? You better stay away. I don't want you to catch what I've got. I can show you a I was just going over there, Amada. God, Butch! Leave me alone. What are you gonna do? Daddy's girl, Go run daddy's and tell your girl. daddy on us. Hey, look, it's smart mouth. Afraid I ain't got time for your fancy words right now. So beat it. None of your business, kid. Get out of here before you get hurt. If you mess with the tunnel snakes, you're asking for it. Got me? Like I'm gonna listen to a little shrimp like you. Get lost, Poindexter. Her weight, huh? I can see why. You're okay, Pipsqueak. Now run along before you get hurt. Tell her, Butch. Why don't you go hang out with your new friends? You put on a couple of pounds, Amada? Amada's got more said. chins than a why Chinese phone that? book. Just leave me alone. Careful, the floor may week. still be a bit wet. The lights, yeah. I think, they hurt my eyes. That's still bothering me. Well, you made it. All set for the goat? Trust me, it really isn't that bad. Just something everybody has to go through. Listen, I like your dad. I might even like you if I wasn't your teacher. So here's what I'm going to do. If you want to skip the test, just tell me how you want it to come out, and I'll take care of it for you. This is Vault 101. Good for you. Don't worry, you'll do fine. As soon as everyone's found a seat, we'll get started. Well, I can run a few more. Back off! She is looking a little heavy. I just need to get things set up for you. Just sit back and I'll be with you as soon as I can. Well, now that everyone has managed to find the classroom, we can finally get started. 
No talking. And keep your eyes to yourselves. <laughs> yes, I'm talking to you, Mr. Deloria. Sure thing, Mr. Brutch. Unless anyone else has an insightful comment, let's get started. Question one. A frenzied vault scientist runs up to you and yells, I'm going to put my quantum harmonizer in your photonic resonation chamber. What's your response? Question two. While working as an intern in the clinic, a patient with a strange infection in his foot stumbles through the door. The infection is spreading at an alarming rate, but the doctor has stepped out for a while. What do you do? Question three. You discover a young boy lost in the lower levels of the vault. He's hungry and frightened, but also appears to be in possession of stolen property. What do you do? Question four. Congratulations. You've made one of the Vault 101 baseball teams. Which position do you prefer? Question five. Your grandmother invites you to tea, but you're surprised when she gives you a pistol and orders you to kill another Vault resident. What do you do? Question six. Old Mr. Abernathy has locked himself in his quarters again, and you've been ordered to get him out. How do you proceed? Question seven. Oh no, you've been exposed to radiation, and a mutated hand has grown out of your stomach. What's the best course of treatment? Question eight. A fellow Vault 101 resident is in possession of a Grognak the Barbarian comic book, issue number one. You want it. What's the best way to obtain it? Question nine. You decide it would be fun to play a prank on your father. You enter his private restroom when no one is looking, and... Question 10. Who is indisputably the most important person in Vault 101? He who shelters us from the harshness of the atomic wasteland and to whom we owe everything we have, including our lives. Pencils down, people. That's it. The infamous goat. I'm sure most of you didn't find it so bad. Others, well, there are always openings in the maintenance department. Don't forget to hand in your test before you leave. You don't want to know what happens to people who fail the goat. You can have the rest of the day off to celebrate or to pray as the situation warrants. Looks like the diner is going to get a new fry cook. I'll just say this once. Hold the mustard, extra pickles. <laughs> Yes, um, it's refreshing to see such, uh, youthful enthusiasm. Good to know that the goat occasionally gets it right. You know what they say about monkeys and typewriters. Well, I'm glad things turned out so well for you. I hope your classmates find their results half as satisfying.
I'll see you tomorrow, bright and early. Anything is possible, even an egg. That is the promise. He is safe now. Is he? He gets a Selfish and insolent. Wake up! Come you on, need to wake know up! These things. I'm not going to be around to hold your hand forever. Come on! You've got to wake up! You've got to get out of here! Your dad is gone, and my father's men are looking for you! Aren't you listening? Your dad is gone! From the vault! He opened the main door and left! My father has completely flipped out. I've never seen him like this. He ordered the guards to beat Jonas to death. And now they're looking for you! I'm sorry, he's dead. They, they beat him, they just wouldn't stop. And my father ordered them to do it. I snuck out to warn you as soon as they were gone. That's what I've been trying to tell you! Listen, you have to follow your dad, escape from the vault, and you have to do it now while everything is still in confusion. Maybe it's none of my business, but you seem just as surprised as me to learn your dad is left. Didn't he tell you what he was planning? Oh, I'm sorry. I I'm sure he had his reasons. Maybe Jonas was supposed to explain everything to you? But it doesn't matter. I can help you escape. I have my own plan. Listen, there's a secret tunnel that leads directly from my father's office to the exit. You'll have to hack the computer in his office to open it. Use these to get into his office. That's how I always get in. Oh, one more thing. I stole my father's pistol. I hope you won't need it, but you'd better take it just in case. Okay, I'll try to meet you at the exit. Watch out for security. Good luck! I'll meet you at the vault door if I can, but... Do Don't wait for me. Good luck. There he is. Hold it right there! Crime any more roaches! God, we hate these things! You gotta help me! My mom's trapped in there with the rat roaches! No, I can't go back in there. It's... it's dark. And there's rat roaches. Oh my god! Thank you! I didn't know what to do! You are the best! Come on, sit down. We did it! My mom's gonna be okay! You're the best friend I've ever had, man! Hey, I know it isn't much, but I want you to have my Tunnel Snakes jacket. Go ahead, take it. And have a drink with me. This is the Overseer. All residents of Vault 101 are hereby confined to their quarters. You're the best, man! The Come on, best. sit down and have Everything's a drink gonna with be me. okay now, thanks to you. Do not interfere with all security personnel. Any resident found outside his or her quarters will be dealt with severely. That is all.
It's our only chance, don't you see? We're getting out of here, just like the doctor. I'm not gonna let anyone stop us. It's me, Tom Holden. Be careful! Just... Over here! Oh! <laughs> So Mac may enjoy this, but I don't. Just... Hold it right there! You didn't really think you could get away from us, did you? I didn't think I would make it. My, my, my father, he, I, my officer Mac, I, I didn't tell them anything, I swear. When the warning sirens came on, they all ran out. I, I guess that was you? I, I see you got the door open. That's good. You're right. I understand. 
It was crazy for me to think you could stop them. What's important is that you made it. You got the door open. Don't worry about me. Whatever happens, I'm sure I'll be in less danger than you. I can't imagine what you're gonna find out there. Go on, before anyone comes. Find your dad. I'll... I'll miss you. You've been a good friend. I knew you'd...